You're probably wondering, we get the question a lot, how much should I invest in social media? Complex question, we got some answer for you. Hopefully that will help. Hey everybody, we're Kinky of the Private Practice Startup and Level Up is a series where we answer your most burning questions and also really help you um, build and grow that dream practice and live your dream lifestyle. Yes, before we dive into the answer to this question, we wanna say thank you to Therapy Notes for sponsoring this series and being a great support of Startup Nation. If you're in need of an EHR, Definitely check them out. You can get your first two months for free. Just use code PPS as in the private practice startup. All right, so when people are asking invest, right? Two words come up, time and money. <clears throat> so when we're investing in social media, especially for private practice clinicians or group practices, is you have to remember that social media is a vehicle specifically for our industry for more brand awareness, right? We're not selling pants or shoes or something else online. Um, it's really about brand awareness and people need to have like five to 12 touches with your company um, to really trust it and reach out. And with therapy, a lot of times it's even more, right? Because, you know, they might not have an issue right away, but they start following you. You're giving great mom tips to deal with two-year-olds that have temper tantrum and they're following you and, oh no, now it's just gotten way out of hand because now I have a new baby and I have a two-year-old and my life just feels unmanageable. Now they want to reach out to you. So when we talk about social media and any type of marketing, which you probably have heard from us before, is consistency is key. What I find that most clinicians get into trouble with is um, trying to do all the things, right? So when we talk about investing time um, and money, um, it's really figuring out a system that works for you. Kate and I often talk about working on your business. So if you're going to invest your own time, right, you're not going to outsource this, is we really think it's very important to have a schedule um, and know when you're posting um, and sharing. And also you have to go back to engage on social media. That's a really important aspect. And it really helps just to kind of lay things out. Maybe Tuesday is a tip of something and Thursday is a parenting moment and Friday is a funny story and just being very consistent across the board and then taking time out of your schedule, maybe to invest four hours, six hours, one time a month or break that up into two on a consistent basis. And then you have technology to really help and support you, whether it's Meet Edgar, there's Buffer, there's Hootsuite. Um, these are things that actually publish the information for you um, and you schedule it all. We don't recommend um, relying organically on you posting, oh, I gotta wake up and post. Um, that becomes pretty overwhelming. All right, so I'm gonna hand it over to Kate because I can keep talking about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Katie touched on a lot of really great points there. And you really talked about the DIY aspect. So if you wanna DIY it and you want someone to do it for you, it's there's a lot of different options out there. You can certainly explore bringing on a social media manager. You could go to different platforms like Upwork or maybe even Fiverr or WiseHire. We found our social media manager for both of our companies on WiseHire. She's been amazing, absolutely amazing. And this can range anywhere from about $20 an hour on up. And there are people who would do it for much more expensive. So it really just depends on what your needs are, what you're looking for. If this is, if social media is not your strength, if it takes you a really long time to do, if you don't enjoy it, uh, outsource it. Give that to somebody else because they can certainly help do it better and faster and your time is more spent and in, in better in other areas. So we wanted to share those resources with you and social media is definitely for brand awareness. And uh, what we recommend for a really good bang for your buck is to work with a company, once you have your website up and it's perfected and ready to go and you have all your specialty pages done, is to actually work with a company who can help you with your Google ads. Not to do it yourself, to actually work with an expert. And, um, and that is a way to drive leads directly to your website who are ready to purchase. When someone is ready to find a therapist, do they go to social media to look for that? No, they go to Google and they type it into Google. So, um, we just wanted to share that bit of information with you as well. Yeah, great question. And if you all guys are in need of help and support um, with building it and growing your private practice, we would love to gift you your dream private practice playbook. This is the exact methodology Kate and I've used to create our bigger private practices and have helped many therapists just like you do the same. So um, you can click the link and grab that and it is in the notes section of this video. And in the meantime, remember, you guys got this. We'll you see you next this. time on Level Up. See Take care, everybody. Time.